What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a Life Orb Reggie Ice team for Ranked Regulation F. Now, Reggie Ice, you don't get to see that much on the rank ladder, but considering it has an absurd special defense stat, I believe this Pokemon could be very, very strong. I believe its special defense stat is 200 on the nose or it's above 200, which is just insane. So we're pairing it up with a Lola Ninetales today, getting that boy in the sun, rocking Ice Body and Life Orb, trying to get this thing rolling. But Ice Body's gonna act as leftover, so every time it's in the snow, it's gonna get HP at the end of every single turn. And then this thing is rocking an amazing moveset. Blizzard, Thunderbolt, Terra Blast with the Water Terror type, and Protect, you gotta love it. You definitely gotta love it. Speaking of Blizzard, we got another Blizzard user with nine tails on this team. Snow Warning as its ability, with Light Clay as its item to pair up with that Aurora Bell, making it last eight turns instead of five. Our other three moves are gonna be Moon Blast, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and like we already mentioned, Blizzard. Another Pokemon we're rocking out with on today's team is going to be Milo Tick with competitive and leftovers, Muddy Water, Icy Wind, Haze, and Protect. Great Pokemon to deal with Dantozos, and on top of that, deal with Intimidate Incineroars. Two more Pokemon on today's team is going to be Urshfu and Landers, and those guys are going to be our heavy physical attackers. You got the Choice Scarf from the Landers, and you got the Focus Ash on Urshfu, making these guys the best that they can be. Our final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Rillaboom. Everybody knows Rillaboom top tier. Top tier. It's got Grassy Surge to set that terrain. On top of that, it's got Grassy Glide for that first turn priority within that terrain. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's showcase Reggie Ice in ranked regulation F. First match on its way, and we're going up against an off meta team. Now, this team kind of screams Trick Room to me, considering they have Sableye and Figable. We're also rocking out with Noivern, Mamoswine, Araquanid, and Fluttermane. So, Araquanid, another Pokemon that thrives out in Trick Room. So, we kind of just want to get, like, I think Aurora Bell and Reggie Ice going, right? Because they have no way of weather control, unless he's rocking Sunny Day with Sableye, which is definitely a possibility, right? It definitely is a possibility, but I'm going to hope not. And I'm gonna hope that I can just get off of War Veil and then just start ripping in the Pokemon with Reggie Ice. That would be my best bet. That would definitely be my best bet. For our back end Pokemon, I do like to have Urshifu probably here, just because we have Sucker Punch, we have first turn priority, and on top of that, we have Focus Ash. Definitely gonna be really nice. And then last but not least, Rillaboom, considering they have no way of changing terrain. So we can just rock out with terrain and hopefully our weather at the same time. So we'll see. We'll see. I definitely think they're going to lead Sableye, but I think they're going to pop Trick Room, which I'm really hoping because if this thing doesn't have Sunny Day, I can then set up a War Veil. We can waste out the Trick Room turns. I can send Blizzards with Reggie Ice, and we can really get after it. We can definitely really get after it, but let's just see who they end up leading. It's going to be Vickable and Mamoswine. I do not mind that. I simply do not mind that. I get out my Weather. I can set up a War Veil. I can start ripping. Let's do it. So War Veil coming out here. Lola Ninetail should be fast on the field, and they're giving me no reason not to just rip Matt, uh, Blizzards. Or I could Terrasilize, but I really don't want to be weak to Thunderbolt or Electric Move, so I think we're fine just setting up a Rebel and just spam Blizzard right now with the Life Orb. Love it. Love it. So out comes the EQ. Okay, that's a, little, that's, that's a bit scarier than anything. And we should be able to soak decently well within the snow. Yeah. Cool, and Blizzard's able to fly through here and do a huge chunk of damage. Reggie Ice, chill. So he's here sending Discharge, sending EQs next to each other, and we should be totally fine here. I got Ice Body ripping, and now is a good time to maybe just go Blizzard, and I could double Blizzard, or I could swap, and I just think double Blizzard's gonna be their play. Make sure that these Pokemon go out. Yeah, I'm so down for it. I'm so down for it. Double Blizzard to get us started here. We're picking up the double KO. I was going to swap the Nine Tails and just save it for later in case we need the weather, but I just think we can just start spamming double Blizzards and uh, grab ourselves a win here. Reggie Ice ripping here right off the rip. We absolutely love it. We absolutely love it. And there's the Ice Body ability looking good, giving us, what was that, 12 HP back? Woo! We love it. We love it. But by the time I'm recording this uh, video here, it's actually the day after the Super Bowl. And that Super Bowl was awesome. The Chiefs versus the Niners. It was a good Super Bowl. That way it ended in overtime. Patrick Mahomes doing his thing. I'm not a Niners. I'm not a Chiefs fan. I just think that was a good game for, for football, you know? I thought it was a great game. But uh, just going to spam Blizzard again into Neuburn. And I actually my Thunderbolt instead of Blizzard into this Arachnid. Which makes the most sense. I, I'm going to do it. So we're going to see a Terra come out from him. Hopefully it is in the Araquanid slot, but it's probably in the Neuburn slot. 
and it is in northern silent what typing are you cooking here? gonna go normal so he's probably looking to maybe just go for some boom burst here do some big time damage but we're set up behind a war veil we got some big time damage with two big time attackers in the back end he's gonna end up wide guard okay so wide guard stops the blizzard thunderbolt should still chunk up some nice damage which is huge and thank the lord we didn't go for a double blizzard it would have been a problem it would have been a big time problem the, our first blizzard gets blocked reggie ice should be able to go for a nice little thunderbolt boom burst is gonna fly out here and we should be able to soak. Actually, I don't know. Stab? Well, it's not stab. It's terror stab. Doing some big time damage. My Reggie Ice soaks it. Problem. Again, that special defense stat is absurd. It's going to pop the throat spray. Get the special attack boost. Thunderbolt's going to cook into this Rackman. Doing good damage. Good damage. It's real good damage. Real good damage. Ice Body going to give us back some HP. And from here, I just want to check out Reggie Ice's special defense stat. This thing is so bulky. 220 with no EB investment. Special attack, HP. This thing is cooking. It is cooking in the special defense category. But um, from here, I think we just keep ripping blizzards, right? If you want to wide guard, you can wide guard. I mean, we couldn't just moon blast, but if you want to wide guard, uh, actually, moon blast would be the safe play. Let's just go moon blast Thunderbolt. Hopefully, you wide guard at this point. And we should get after it. Yeah, cool. So they end up going for a wide guard again. We switch up our moves. We're going for single attacks only. This should wrap up the match, right? Moonblast is going to deal a little bit of damage here. Decent amount of damage. Boomburst is going to take out the Nine Tails. Reggie Ice is going to be able to soak. Thunderbolt's then going to fly, take out the Raquinid. And on top of that, we can just bring out like Lil Doom or something and finish off this matchup. No problem. No problem. Good game. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Reggie Ice starting things off hot. Want to know? Raquinid, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. So big time damage coming out there, and I love the ice body ability, especially behind a Warvel. Just getting back a gradual like gradually getting back like 12, 11 to 12 HP every single turn. Plus I have protect if I really needed it. But now I just throw out Urshifu. Drop a big time sucker punch. I still have terror too. I'm not even gonna use it. No point, and then Blizzard on top of that. Our opponent should cancel out this match. Now they're staying in here. Sucker Punch just going to finish it off, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our first match and our first win. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against a bit of a stronger team here in match number two. Okie Dogie's on the squad, alongside with Shen Pao, Ogre Pond, Milo Tick, Incineroar, and last but not least, they do have weather control with Tornadus here. So I could lead Reggie Ice, I could lead Ninetales. Chances are they are just going to straight up lead Tornadus. And in that case, I might just want to go in with a Pokemon like, like Landers, right? I could go Landers and Milotic, because that can really just cover some of our weaknesses. If he wants to intimidate us, then we have Milotic on the field. I think that can work out well. But what I think they're going to lead is probably Tornadus, maybe Incineroar, or it could be Tornadus, maybe Ogre Pond. And in that case, I could just Terrasalize you, maybe go into Flying Terror, right? Yeah. And then just Terror Blast and just get after it. Or I can always U-turn out of here. So you know what? I'm going to go into both of these guys. I like it a lot. I definitely like it a lot. We do have Haze. We do have Ice Ewing for our side of Speed Control. And then in the back end, we could just go Urshifu and Rillaboom. I like it. So no Alolan Ninetales here. No Reggie Ice. I think they just have complete control over weather with Tornadus on the field. So I'm not just, I'm not going to try to force it. I'm not going to try to just bring it in the back end. I'm just going to bring our other Pokemon. Look for a nice little win here. But yeah, want to know? Reggie Ice killed it. He lit it up. Lit it up in the last match. <clears throat> Which is awesome. Which is awesome considering this video is all about Reggie Ice. But they're going to end up leading Tornadus, right? Yeah, Tornadus and Okie Doki. So they had a weather control for Gronus. Um... We're going to go into these guys. We are going to intimidate this guard dog, which actually boosts his attack. We don't like that one bit. And they might terrasalize Okie Dogi. They might just terrasalize Okie Dogi. I could go for Rock Slide. I could go for Stomping Tantrum. I'd rather go for Stomping Tantrum and maybe just haze the stats. I could definitely haze the stats. Just get rid of that uh, minus one or that plus one. But I think with us going into maybe like Muddy Water or even Ice Human here, could definitely start helping us out. So I'm just going to go Icy Wind here. They're going to set up a Tailwind. And Okie Dogi, what are you doing? You're going to attack my Lando? Maybe. Or else speed me anyway. So Stomping Tantrum coming in hot here. Big time damage output there. Ice Punch going to fly. And of course you're rocking Ice Punch. Just going to take out my Lando. So not a bad turn. really wish Stomping Tantrum would have done more. But Ice Punch rocking with the Okie Dogi. 
Definitely gonna KO us all day. Four times super effective. So Icy Wind flies. We do get the minus one on both these guys. They still have Tailwind up. Um, actually, that thing is Cobra Cloak, so that's good for them. And from here, I could go into Rollboom, but I'd rather save Rollboom. And probably just go into a Pokemon with its Focus Sash. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I'm gonna go into Urshifu here, and I think I might just Terrasilize. I could actually detect here. Might be a bit bit of a better play for me. Just detect, see what they want to do. And then on top of that, probably just go for Muddy Water. Maybe look to KO this Okie Doke, right? Dicey Wind chunked up a little bit of damage, but this is Stab right here. This is Stab. So you know what? I'm gonna go for Muddy Water here. And we're just gonna look to attack this Okie Doke. We're trying to get rid of it and waste out yet another Tailwind turn. So out comes the Bleak Wind Storm. Hopefully they get a special attack or a speed drop on my Milotic because I would love the competitive boost. Or we just dodge the attack. That's beautiful as well. In close combat, it's going to double down into the Urshfu, which we get a big time block for. Big time block. Big time block. Muddy Water now flies. Can it KO the Okie Doge? It does not. It does not. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. So I could Terrasize into Dark if I want to. I could Hard Swap into Real Boom if I want to. But I think now my play is definitely going to be Terrasize Dark. Probably Sucker Punch. Who do I want to Sucker Punch here? I do have Focus Ash. Do I save my Terror though? Do I save my Terror? They could have Shen Pao in the back end. So I might need to save my Terror for like Rillaboom. I think we save and we just Focus Ash up here. So I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch here. If you want to go for a Bleak Wind Storm, you can go for a Bleak Wind Storm. And I'm just going to Icy Wind just in case he wants to swap Pokemon. We can keep that special attack job cooking. Sucker Punch flying. Bye bye, Okie Doge. And from here, like I said, probably Bleak Wind Storm's popping out here. Probably a Bleak Wind Storm. Yep, and it's gonna connect. The Bleak Wind Storm coming out here. Bring this down to Focus Ash. Fingers crossed for the speed drop on the Milotic. Fingers crossed. Nothing. Nothing. We don't get that at all. Icy Wind's gonna fly here. Pick up the KO. And now we still have Rillaboom and our Terror in the back end. <clears throat> okay, so not bad. Not too shabby. I still have Sucker Punch ready to go. Um, if they throw a Shen Pao, I might have to detect our Urshifu here. Waste out the last turn of Tailwind because they're probably going to Sucker Punch my Urshifu. Thinking that we're going to Sucker Punch them. Let's see. Who you got here? Ogre Punch, Shen Pao. Makes the most sense. Hopefully not Shen Pao, but it probably is. It is. The Shen Pao coming out onto the field. Uh, oh, man. This is tough. This is tough. I definitely want to detect you here. And I could haze. I could just Icy Wind. I think Icy Wind's going to be our best bet. But I think they're just going to Terrasilize their, their Ogre Pond here, right? So I'm going to detect the Urshifu here. They're going to Terrasilize Ogre Pond, it seems like. We're going to try to take off Ogre Sash and get off some big time damage. But this is just terrible. I maybe should have just Terrasilize Milo here. I definitely should have Terrasilized Milo. Horn Leech coming into the slot is not looking good. It's definitely not looking good. Should have Terrasilized the Milo. Should have definitely Terrasilized the Milo. I'm going to detect the Urshifu. I do believe a Sucker Punch should come out here, right? Yeah. And we're going to block it and maybe High Hopes that no Horn Leech coming here. But of course it is. Yeah, should have Terrasilized that Pokemon all day. I don't know what I was thinking. Because if I Terrasilized there, I can get off the Icy Wind. I can soak up that shot. Tailwind then ends, and we can outspeed. Yeah, that would have been a big time icy wind. Now I'm, I get to go into Rillaboom here. Um, I could end up detecting. I could end up detecting. Or not detecting, protecting my Pokemon. But I think from here, we just want to go for maybe like a Sucker Punch into you. And a Fake Out into you. I think I like that. Take off Focus Ash and then kind of get after it that way. I can see them both protecting here. If there's Spiky Shield. There is a Spiky Shield. Fake Out's gonna chunk up some damage, which is good. Sucker Punch, gonna get blocked. Or not even blocked. Good thing it doesn't get blocked because I would have died out the recoil. And he's gonna end up flinching here. A little bit of flinchies. Now from here, I'm just gonna detect. And I'm going to stay my typing right now. Do I terrestrialize? I 
I'm gonna terrasize. I'm gonna go for wood hammer. I wanna get off as much damage as I can. I doubt you go for the ivy cudgel, right? I doubt you go for the ivy cudgel. And the reason I wanna terrasize Wilbum here is just in case this Shen Pao is really sitting here like, hey, I'm gonna just ice spinner down this Wilbum. I'm gonna detect here, hoping that goes for another sucker punch. They could read the detect here. But I'm really hoping not, because I would love to just drop this thing with the wood hammer, because I know Grassy Glide is not doing enough damage to KO this person. We need wood hammer. We need to hammer up the woods. We need to hammer up the woods. So we go into the fire tower, just in case the ice spinner is flying into the slot, and we're just gonna detect the urge fill. Don't want to protect up again. So ice spinner is gonna fly here, and it's going into this slot. Okay. And this thing is going for an IV cudgel into who? Why are you doing that? Did you read my tarot? Why are you doing that? That hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. That really hurts the soul. So we didn't even have to terrasize. We could have just popped wood hammer and probably would have KO'd that thing. And then it would have turned into a 2v1. Man, that could have been big. Really pop an Ivy Cudgel into the slot. That hurts the soul. We're just gonna run this one solid second match. Let's go grab ourselves a win here in match number three. That last battle stung a little bit. Come on, man. I terrestrialized my Robum just for them to Ivy Cudgel into that slot. If I didn't terrestrialize, we probably would have won, right? Because then we would have soaked up the Ivy Cudgel. Woodhammer definitely would have KO'd the uh, Ogre Pond in the grassy terrain. Then on top of that, it would have turned into a 2v1 situation, which I probably would have just started close combating and maybe started throwing like U turns grassy guys from my Robum slot. But hey. It's all good. It's all good. We're now sitting one and one. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record here, but they have no way of weather control. So this screams to me, go into these two, trying to set up that award belt and really get cooking for them. So gonna go in with both of them. In the back end, I am going to bring my Urshifu. I know they do have screens, but we also have a roar belt. And on top of that, Wicked Blow is going to be crit every single time. So I'm gonna bring up both of them. And then last but not least, probably Lando with the Choice Scarf, just to be able to outspeed and have a bunch of really solid moves that can actually KO them, such as Stomp and Cancel for the Incineroar and Rillaboom. And then we got the Rock Slide for the uh, Tornadus. That can work really well. And then on top of that, Flying Terror, Terra Blast for the Ogre Pond and the Rillaboom. So Lando, come on down, come on down. And on top of that, we got Intimidate. Lovely Intimidate. All right, let's grab ourselves a winning record here. But another thing I want to mention about the Super Bowl is did any of you guys watch the Nickelodeon one with like Spongebob, Larry the Lobster, and Patrick all like commentating? I had that up on the side. Me and my friends were watching the, the main game on the, on a big screen and we had the Nickelodeon uh, broadcast on the other side. It was just so funny to watch. They had some like ridiculously funny stats. They had Larry the Lobster running around on the field. It's a good time. It was a good time. So next time they have a Nickelodeon football game, I'm telling you guys, tune in. It's hilarious. It is so funny. Larry Lobster was like lining up for routes, flexing. You gotta love it. But they end up leading this boy right here, Blizzard Boy. Or well, not Blizzard Boy, um, Tornadus. Not Tornadus, Landorus. And Grim Snarl. So I just think they're gonna set up screens. And from here, I could end up terrestrializing you in the water. Just going for a Terror Blast. That's not a bad call. But I believe you are gonna go into. I believe you are gonna go into like a Terrestrialize. And I'm just gonna pop in a War Belt while you set up screens at the same time. And he's gonna protect, that's fine. That's fine, so I'm spamming a blizzard. I'm going for a nice lovely blizzard here, and he's just gonna thunder wave me. Okay, so he's gonna just be forced to throw out paralyzes. He's not setting up screens, which we love. Can we get off this roar bell, please and thank you? Bruh. No roar bell for us. Bruh. No roar bell for us. We don't get it off, um... Okay, now I am slower, and I am a little scared of this Lando. I am a little scared of Slando, and I am going to get my Life Orb HP almost back, which is solid. So I'm going to spam another Blizzard. Give me no reason not to, and I'm just going to click a Roar Bell, because I really want to get this off. I maybe should have Terrasalized the Ninetales here. I maybe should have Terrasalized the Ninetales, because I really want to get off this Roar Bell. Really? I'm paralyzed? Come on, man. Thunderwave doing me dirty. So finally, the Lando hits that Terror button. Looking to get in for it. If I can just get off this Roar Bell, I would love where we're sitting. I really would. And he's gonna set up light screen. So light screen comes out and about. That's totally fine. And he's just gonna go for a sludge bomb into the nine tail slot. Can you soak this? You don't. I knew I should start last there. Man, so no roar valve out for us. Um, I was just gonna be able to fly here. 
But she, she's still doing solid damage in this weather. It really is. Pretty solid. Really solid damage. So another Blizzard will KO. I think now's a good time to bring out you. And then just start throwing the punchies around, right? Just start punching up. I'm down to start punching up. So Blizzard gonna get cooking. Uh, hit Sucker Punch. Could Wicked Blow. I think we're just gonna Wicked Blow this slot. And go from there, right? You could go for a... I could actually take you out first. But you know what? I, I think you set up a Reflect. I was gonna say, you could go for a Spirit Break. But I think you set up a Reflect more so than go for a Spirit Break into my into the slot. And now he's gonna go for a Thunder Wave. And it doesn't affect me because I'm a dark type. That's actually pretty big. The sludge bombs gonna need cooking, go into the Urshfu slot. That's fine, as long as we don't get poisoned, right? Cool. Wait, do we get poisoned? Hopefully not. Awesome. Because now we got Wicked Blow flying, picking up a KO, no problem. And then Blizzard's gonna fly, finish off Grimstar. And now, I don't mind where we're sitting, considering, considering they, they don't have Reflect up. They do not have Reflect up, because this Blizzard's gonna KO. Yeah, so now I have Urshfu chilling here. On one HP, I got Lando in the back end, which is beautiful. It is definitely pretty. And I'm gonna get some Ice Body HP back. Lovely. Lovely Ice Body. So we'll see who their final two Pokemon are. I think one of them might be Incineroar. And there's Ogre Pond and Rillaboom. Ogre Pond and Rillaboom. So they're going to get Terrain Control. Kind of sucks. Blizzard going to be ripping. We do like Blizzard here. We do like Blizzard here. And I'm just going to spin. So I'm just going to go Blizzard here. I'm just going to detect just in case the fake out from Rillaboom comes out here. Not trying to deal with that, right? Definitely not trying to deal with that. I would love to get off a Sucker Punch or two after this turn. But I do have Lando as well. Which Intimidate's going to work wonders here. But... I gotta save my Terra for that. Definitely have to save my Terra. They end up reading the attack and faking out you. Which kinda sucks. And they double down. Can you soak? You do soak. You're a bulky, you're a bulky little real boom. Or not a real boom. You're a bulky little Reggie Ice. Real bulky Reggie Ice. A bit too bulky of a Reggie Ice. So now from here, they could just grassy glide me. Which is probably most likely gonna happen. And I'm just gonna double down and sucker punch into Ogre Pond. I think Sucker Punch into Ogre Pond is going to be replied. You're just going to outspeed me with your Grassy God. Really hurts the soul. So he's outspeeding here. We don't have a Roar Bell up. He's going to end up going for a Wood Hammer. Which, do you soak this? You don't. Dang, Reggie's getting snapped on. Just got snapped on. So they're going to get damaged by Recoil. The snow's gone. I only have one Pokemon left. Maybe I should have brought out Lando last turn. A choice scarf land over here. So I could go into the flying terra. Um I'm definitely gonna have to go into the flying terra. I'm gonna intimidate both these Pokemon. So they haven't used Terra yet, right? Oh they did, they did. That's actually massive. That's actually massive because now I can just go into Terra Blast be super effective onto both. That's huge. So Lando has a chance to make the big time comeback here. We're going to Terrasilize. We're going to look to start ripping. I think they want to go for an Ivy Cudgel here. I'm hoping this Terra Blast just KOs, right? Because if this Terra Blast KOs, I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting, especially because the Grass moves are going to be not very effective. All that good stuff. Grass Guy's going to fly here. We soak rather well. We soak rather well. And that's a double Grass Guy action, which we soak rather well. Rather real well. So as long as this Terra Blast KOs, I love where we're sitting here. And I think it should, right? It does. Big time damage from the Lando. Lando coming in hot. Big time damage. So bye bye to you, Ivy Cudgel Ogre Pond. And we're going to double down and go for a nice big time Terra Blast for the win here. Terra Blast looking to KO. He's hoping that he can soak it. I don't think you can, Rollboom. I do not think you can. And you cannot. GG's 2 and 1 for today's video. Grabbing ourselves a winning record with this amazing Reggie Ice team. Absolutely loved using Reggie Ice for the first time on the channel. So strong, especially paired up with Alolan Ninetales. In match number one, we were able to get off that Roarville. And in match number three, we showcase it without the Roarville. Really thriving out with just its ice body ability and just being naturally bulky on the special defense side. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.